Hello, my name is Norman McNamara and I'm the founder of the Global Purple Angel and Dementia Awareness Campaign. Today, this is the first of a weekly video called Telling the Truth About Dementia. We've come such a long, long way in the last 10 years in dementia, in the world of dementia, with tech, with memory cafes, with dementia friends, with Purple Angel, but there always seems to be something missing. And what seems to be missing is for people telling the truth about dementia how it really feels to live with it, how it feels to care for people with dementia, and the things that nobody ever tells you. So what there'll be, there'll be just short episodes of videos. And as the song says, if we start at the very beginning, it's a very good place to start. And I think the very good place to start is right at the beginning, when you first go to the doctors. When you first make an appointment to the doctors, and you have worries about your memory or about your loved one's memory, Please make a double appointment. Yes, I know you'll feel awkward about this. You are not taking anybody else's appointment up. Whatever you want to say and whatever you want to explain to the doctor about yourself or your loved one will not happen in 10 minutes. Because what you'll do, you'll come out and you'll feel so frustrated about not being able to ask this, that and the other. So make sure you ask for a double appointment, regardless of what the receptionist says. Just tell them you want a double appointment because it's going to take them that long to explain. Also, you've got two more things to think of. What time do you take your per the person with dementia to the surgery? What time's your appointment? Now, most people, or some people with dementia, suffer something called sundowning, which is what we'll come on to later later in the series but if you find that you, the person that you're living with or your loved one who has dementia is worse in the afternoon than he is in the morning if you can make it if you can make it happen and if you can manage this and you can manage the person with dementia take them in the afternoon take them to see the doctor when they're at their worst do not take them to see the doctor, first thing in the morning, when you sit with them or her, and they say, well, I believe they've got memories, maybe problems, and they turn around and say, no, I haven't. And they're perfectly fine. Ask to make sure when you do the minimum ankle test that you can have other questions asked as well. Nobody ever asks this, because during the minimum ankle test, what happens is they will ask the person with dementia, where do you live? Well, if that person's lived there 30 years, they're going to know where they live. And one of the questions is, how did you get here today? Which is fine, because some people don't remember how they get there or what they have for breakfast. But when they ask a question like, who's the current Queen or King of England? Of course they're going to know it's Queen Elizabeth. She's been there now on 50, 60 years. Some of the questions in the minimum mental test are totally irrelevant. So if you just say to the doctor or the psychiatrist, ask him what he had for breakfast, or her, what he had for breakfast this morning. Ask them what they watched on TV last night. Ask them how they got here. Make the questions relevant because it's a short-term memory loss disease. Don't get them to be asking questions of where they live or how would they get home from yeah because they might live where they've lived for 40 years as well so please try and make it relevant please try and make the appointment in the afternoon if they do suffer from sundowning and please please for your first appointment please make a double appointment so therefore you can spend a little bit longer with the doctor and you can sit and explain everything that's been going on one more tip before you go in, write your questions down. Write them down so you know exactly what you want to ask and you don't miss any questions. Because believe me, I promise you, you will come away thinking, why didn't I ask this? Why didn't I ask that? Always remember that 20 minutes is quite long, but it's your time. It's not their time, it's your time. So any discerning looks from the doctor over the glasses, thinking, or oh, tapping the watch, thinking, you know, you've been here, it doesn't matter. This is the most important appointment you will ever make, especially when it's deciding to try and find out if someone you know has got dementia. 
little things like this you don't often hear about. I hope you enjoyed this first episode and join me next week when we talk about some of the behavioural problems that people with dementia have. Until next week, that'll be the phone. Until next week, bye-bye.